for Le Chatelier principal questions. We're going to start with number eight. I like to start with B because raising or lowering the concentration is the most intuitive. So if we add sulfur trioxide to the system, that's going to be adding a reactant. So we raise the amount of sulfur trioxide. We'll now have too, uh, too much of a reactant. So in order to get back to equilibrium, this will have to shift to the right. That will make more products. If you're thinking in terms of Q, if you raise the amount of SO3, you are now going to have more reactants. So that would give a lower value of Q and it would shift right, which would raise it back up to, um, to give you closer to the equilibrium constant. Well, let's look at A. What if we increase the pressure? If we increase the pressure. Looks like there are three moles of gas on the right, two moles of gas on the left. And if we increase the pressure, the only way to decrease the pressure, the only way the system can adjust to decrease the pressure is to shift to the left because three moles of gas turning into two moles of gas will produce less moles of gas and lower the pressure. For C, if we increase the temperature, we have to note whether this is endothermic or exothermic. And this with a positive delta H is endothermic or heat as a reactant. So if we increase the pressure, we have too much heat. And the only way to absorb heat is if that heat is absorbed as it reacts going from left to right. If we go in the forward direction, it'll absorb heat and that will cause the temperature to go back down. Let's look at number seven. Predict the effect of decreasing temperature on the position of each. For A, heat is a product, it's exothermic. So if we lower the temperature, the only way we can create more heat and raise that temperature back up is to shift it toward the product. So we are going to shift to the right in order to, um, the equilibrium will shift to the right in order to adjust. For B, it's endothermic. So heat is a reactant. If we lower the temperature, the only way to create heat is to go to the left because heat is a reactant. So if we have products turning back into reactants, that will generate more heat. So for this one, it's gonna go left. And because C is similar to A, delta H being positive, we're gonna have, sorry, delta H is negative. We're gonna have positive heat as a product. And if we lower the temperature, it's going to have to shift to the right in order to uh, regenerate that heat. Heat is a product. Okay. For six, going in reverse order here, if we're going to increase the volume of the container for each of these. We're going to lower the pressure. So if we lower the pressure, it's always going to shift to the side where there are more moles of gas. So in this first one, Four moles of gas on the right, only three on the left. So with more moles of gas on the right, we can raise the pressure back up a little bit by going from three moles of gas to four moles of gas or shifting to the right. Remember, it's only the gaseous species that count here. We're looking at B. We're not going to do anything with this solid because it's not involved. Still, we have three moles of gas on the right and four moles of gas on the left. So if we shift to the left, that is gonna create more moles of gas, three moles turning into four moles, is gonna raise the pressure back up. And for C, it's like we have a solid here. So if I have two moles of gas on the left and one mole on the right, way to generate more moles of gas is to shift to the left and that will increase the pressure. I hope that helps.